check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Goedendag, good day, and welcome back to the third and last part of brewing beer at home. In the last video, you saw my brother and I add the hop and the sugar into the beer mixture. We then transferred the liquids to the carboy, or in other words, the glass jar the soon-to-be beer was poured into. Afterwards, we put it into a dark closet, and now let's resume the final bit of the video series. Enjoy! So we forgot to do the gravity reading which is pretty important to do. This is just to see if the refractometer is uh, steady at zero when there's only water in. So right now it's just at one because it's only water. As you can see the white line is below. It's okay, it's nice. We got it at about 1070, 1069. Welcome to the next day where bubbling really nicely. It is time to measure our beer. It's been... One week. So we got the sugar measurement tool. We've got the squinchy thing. I don't know what the word is. And we've got this guy. It measured 1.40, but since there is alcohol in there, the measurement is a bit off. But the calculators uh, adjust or say that it is about 1.020, and that means that there is about 6. Point something percent alcohol in there, and it should go down to 1.10, which would uh, result in 7.75 percent ABV. It is time for a test. See how many sugars have turned into alcohol. It sound right, boy. And guess what? It is time to bottle the beer up because the sugar percentage and alcohol percentage and whatnot is all good. My brother just cleaned all these babies and we're gonna set up, aren't we? Mm -hmm. um, this is my brother's little pumping system, I guess. And this is the cleaning tub. And is that for us too? It isn't, right? Yes, it is. Oh, it is? We need to add sugar in order to form carbonation in the bottle. This powder is inside these bottles and I'm gonna just shake it up a bit and then rinse it so we can put our beer in there. And how long actually does it have to stay in the bottle for? Uh, three weeks. And why three weeks? Because so the carbonation can get started basically? Uh, yeah, and for your uh, taste conditioning so the flavors even out oh, so sure. it's more balanced. Okay. Now I just put this. Like so, we don't want to splash it, we don't want any uh, oxygen to be mixed in the beer. And it just fills up. And now we don't do anything but wait. Yeah, we let it fill up and then um, we, uh, we close the lid on it and we fill the bottle. The good thing is this uh, uh, auto siphon has a, uh, like a sort of a level filler. I don't know if you would call it, like, call it that, but it uh, keeps it from the bottom, so you do not take the sediment into the beer. It sound right, boy. We're gonna use this tool to put the caps on. So we sanitize the caps as well. That's so cool! Cheers! That's left. Cheers. <laughs> really sweet, not carbonated beer, but look at all these bottles! Oh yeah, this is awesome. It's hard to think what it's gonna taste like since there's sugar water in there right now, because mm -hmm. after three weeks it won't be as sweet. Ooh! So excited! I'll see you in three weeks. Sound right, boy.
It sound right, boy.